Buckeye Talk coming to you from Ohio State Spring Game. Nathan Baird, Doug Maurice, Stephen Means of Cleveland.com. The Ohio State community lost Dwayne Haskins one week ago today, but they made him a big presence at the spring game. Behind us on the field here at Ohio Stadium, the initials DH. Ohio State players wore that on the decal on their helmets. There was a moment of silence before the game. There was a very touching halftime uh, experience right out here on the field where they were showing a video tribute. The whole team gathered together to watch it. Cam Babb led a, a prayer after that. Uh, just, Doug, you know what Dwayne Haskins meant to this program, what he meant to players who are still in this program. What did you take away from just the, the, the celebration and the remembrance today? Justin Fields was here. C.J. Stroud was here. They're all extensions of Dwayne Haskins in this new lineage of Ohio State quarterbacking. But Ryan Day had talked about it this week, the idea of we want to honor Dwayne together. And that doesn't just mean the players and the coaches and the staff. It meant the 60,007 people that they announced as the attendance here. Not a coincidence, 60,007. That's obviously a nod to number seven for Dwayne Haskins. And I thought that moment, the team was – the players, they were on their knees on the field, and there were 60,000 people who were part of that. And I love the spring game, and this is a tragic, very sad time for everybody who knew and loved Dwayne Haskins, but that's to me what that was about. That wasn't just 150 Ohio State program people. It was everybody, and everybody was part of that, and I thought it was a great video for Dwayne, and I thought that's what, that's what needed to happen today. People able at a football game, having fun to come together and mourn him and grieve him and honor him together. Steven C.J. Stroud always wears number seven, but today he came out for this game in a number seven jersey that said Haskins Jr. on the back. And he said that it was an important moment for him that the last time that jersey was worn in this stadium, it resulted in a touchdown. He felt like he was sending Dwayne Haskins off with a touchdown, called him like a big brother. Just what from you, what you've seen from him in the past week, the, the connection that they have and what he means to Stroud and um, how he's going to try to carry that legacy forward. Yeah, I mean, they, they have a lot. Of, they have a relationship. It's not the strongest relationship in the world, obviously, because there's some years apart, but they do have some guys in common. Quincy Avery, both of those guys have worked out with Quincy Avery plenty of times in the past and have a strong relationship, so it starts there. And Doug mentioned it right there. Dwayne Haskins, the last time he was in this building, I mean, we did a retalkables on it. The last time he was here, he threw six touchdown passes. You know, and that's how he left out. And now CJ hands him out the right way. It was a good touch that I'm pretty sure he came up with over the last couple of days here thinking about it once he realized that, you know, oh, wait, we wear the same number. During the week, he had had the long-lived Dwayne Haskins, rest in peace, and rest in heaven Dwayne Haskins on his jersey during practice. So the relationship is there. And what it boils down to is this. There is no Justin Fields here. There is no C.J. Stroud here. There's no Kyle McCord here if Dwayne Haskins doesn't do what he does. It's not necessarily because, you know, Dwayne Haskins, like, led the way from him. It's just Dwayne – C.J. said it today. Dwayne Haskins changed the passing culture here, and it starts there, and that's why it was such a, a great thing to see C.J. Stroud do what he did. One of many storylines that came out of the spring game today. Much more about that at Buckeye Talk. And get the text, 614-350-3315, as we keep the storylines going into the offseason.